let's integrate this definite integral. A definite integral means it has numbers here. Indefinite do not have inter numbers there. The answer to a definite integral is a number. It's the area under a curve. The first thing we want to do is distribute this because you have no formula to integrate this. Do you understand this is t to the 1 half? That's a 0. Sorry, two to the, 0 to 2. 2 times that is 2t to the 1 half. And a t times a t to the 1 half is t to the 3 halves. There we go. Next, we integrate each piece individually. And once you integrate, you put brackets. So you add 1 to 1 half, and you get 3 halves. So you got t to the 3 halves divided by 2 thirds minus Add 1 to this, you get 5 over 2. And you're still going, you're going from 0 to 2. So you, you kind of integrate it, and then you put the 2 to 0 here instead of, because you don't have an integral anymore. You integrated it, so now you've got to keep track of what you're going to plug in. Um, could I actually simplify this? Isn't that going to be t over 3? Oh yeah, thank you. That's a 3 over 2, correct? Did I mess up? Which makes this a 4 t to the 3 over 2 over 3 minus 2 t to the 5 over 2 over 5. Okay, made a little mistake there. Okay, now this is the integral, 2 to 0. All you do is plug in 2, plug in 0, we're done. So 4, 2 to the 3 over 2, over 3, minus 2, 2 to the 5 over 2, Now, I'm going to make a little quick shortcut. What happens when you plug in 0 to all this? Do you understand this is simply going to be 0? Are we okay with that? When I plug in 0 to both of these, do you understand? Plug in 0 here, gone. Plug in 0 here, gone. 0. Okay. Now, some of you might struggle with 2 to the 3 over 2. Let's rewrite that. 2 to the 3 over 2 is the same as 2 to the 3rd square rooted. Is that okay? Which would be 2 square root 2? Is that okay? So if I simplify this, I'll now have, this is 2 square root 2, so this is 8 square root 2 over 3 minus, what's 5 square root 2? Isn't that going to be the square root of 2 to the 5th? 2 to the 5 over 2 is the square root of 2 to the 5th. Wouldn't that be 4 square root 2? That's 8 square root 2 over 5 minus 0. And on this particular problem, you do need a common denominator because you're actually getting a number. Let's get a calculator here. So you're going to have to multiply this one by 5 over 5. 40 square root 2 over 15. This one by 3 over 3, which becomes 28. 
So your answer ends up being 16 square root 2 over 15. That would be the area under the